Hey, Mark Nelson. Today what I want to do, this is day seven of our 14-day our challenge. I want to talk to you about my mentors. And I know, if, man, I have so many of them, and some have just really stretched out me, but they all had the same values. They all were trying to do the same thing, teach me the same things. Uh, but there is just this one dude and this is kind of a, we'll see how I get through this, but I started an online journey a long time ago. Uh, probably, I don't even know, 1999, I think I started my first business. Did pretty well with it. It wasn't online. It was, it was belly to belly. Did did okay, it, but almost lost my family and, and kind of got away from this thing. I didn't want to do anything, but I've always been an entrepreneur, so I thought I wanted to be an entrepreneur, so I started really searching again for the right company, for the right people. Hey, Will, how are you doing? Glad to have you here. So what I did, I actually got into a company and I was doing pretty well. I, I really was doing pretty well. And then life throws curveballs, right? So everything went kabawi and I was done. I'm done, I wasn't gonna do anymore, but guess what? That, that entrepreneurial spirit keeps coming back and you start doing different things and I wanted to go into it again. So. I started all over again and oh man, I, I did well and then I plateaued and I just couldn't get past things. I just was struggling with getting past things. So what I did is I started reaching out and searching. I started listening to different podcasts and I started really listening to one dude by the name of Steve Cribda. Uh, and Steve was in a community I was in and I reached out to him and, and we started talking about things and, and soon what happened was he started asking me different questions. Hey Bruce, glad to see you're here. But what we did is we started digging, well let me say not we, he started asking me questions and started digging at things. And it was just unstinking believable what we found. See, because I didn't even know this was happening. but. You know, if you've heard of uh, limited beliefs or beliefs that were just kind of keeping you stuck, it could be about money, it could be about value, it could be about uh, whatever, it could be about anything. Well, hey, Jim Rogers, glad to have you here. It's a, here's what was my belief though. And I did not even know what was going on. See, I had a limiting belief about, oh my goodness gracious. I grew up in an amazing family, amazing family. Um, in, in very, we were all very athletic. We kept cheering each other on and, and we're our best cheerleaders. But I had a sibling that was older than me that liked to, he was sarcastic and liked to dig a little bit. And he kept telling me I wasn't good enough. And every time, now I didn't even know that was there. I really didn't. It only happened through working with this Steve. Uh, it, and as we kept talking about, see, every time I get close to busting it, to breaking open, I'd get this thought that would go, you aren't good enough. Who the heck are you thinking of? Who's gonna have give you value? I, I blew me away, blew me away. And see, the coolest part was Steve had more belief in me than I had in myself. So as we started working through this, it was, um, it was actually pretty cool. He actually gave me in, in, in an action step whenever these thoughts, because it still happens. I mean, my goodness, I'm trying to do some things I've never done before. And you think, what the heck? Who can I do it? You take a deep breath and you go, oh, crap. Can I do this thing? But it, he gave me this step whenever I got one of these beliefs. I pinched my thumb and my finger together. And I think of all the times that I was successful and powerful, and I bring this state of being back to where I'm winning. Because this, these thoughts in these heads, in this head, not these heads, some days I think my wife thinks I have two heads. Mm -hmm. But in this head, it, it's so easy to think that you're not good enough. It's so easy to believe the outside critics. It's so easy to believe those inner thoughts so the one mentor, and I have a ton, and, and I have a few, you know, that I work with, a ton and then a few, right? You know, I work daily with uh, Justin Glover and Brenda Gagne and 
Layla and Toby Black and Shannon Hoverson and her late husband Mark, they're just blessing me. But the one who stands out is Steve Kribda because he believed in me and he helped get me through what I need to get through. So hey, if um, you know, I'll take Steve in this, search him out. It's, it's Steve Krivda, K-R-I-V-D-A. He, he does a morning wake up calls for the community we're in. He does daily Facebook lives, I believe 5.30 Eastern time because he's in Florida, I'm in Tennessee. I watch him a lot. He, he will help you as much as he did me. Hey, th again, this is day seven of my 14 day ch challenge, live challenge. I'm actually in two, two, one, two. I, I signed up for another one and didn't realize they're happening the same time. So day one is today in that other challenge. And so I'll be going on a little later for that one. But inside the group that I'm doing this Facebook live challenge is, uh, and it was with those mentors I, I mentioned earlier, we have what is called a Facebook live cheat sheet that would help you in your Facebook lives, not only with getting out and doing them, but the, the thought process and how you go about it and what you should be doing and when you should be doing it. And what Unbelievable cheat sheet. If you'd like that cheat sheet, put a cheat sheet down below. Hey, I will put Steve Krivda's, uh, I'll tag him in this, but it's a search him out on Facebook. The dude is unstinking believable. Peace. We'll talk to you later. Bye.